Hi everybody, welcome back to Starfield and in this video I wanted to cover a little bit about essential kind of perks that you may or may want to put into your build. And I say may or may not because there's lots of different ways of working through these perks and skill points and I think it's really up to you and there is no wrong answer to any of this um, because what Starfield's done which is very exciting is that it really encourages you if you want to go down a particular path you have to invest a lot of skill points in that path which means that you can't become a jack of all trades um, and I think that that's really cool because it means that long term with lots of different playthroughs you can have very different builds um, now so what have I gone through with mine well I've gone for stealth um, as one of the ones I want to unlock and basically so that I have got a stealth meter that I can see on the screen so I know if enemies can see me or not um, the catch with the stealth one though is that unless you find a weapon with a suppressor so you can do sneak attacks um, it means that you've got to unlock um, weapon um, craftsmanship um, so I, it wasn't as, as useful as I thought it would but it's great to have a um, a, a sneak meter if you like as we go along so definitely consider stealth um, persuasion uh, I've chose to go down this path a little bit um, mainly because talking to characters and NPCs in Starfield as with any Bethesda game if you can get them to do what you want um, without having to fight or pay the money is really good um, and the trick with this as well is to take one of the medicines or one of the uh, drugs that makes you more persuasive before you jump in as well um, and it means you can you can sway people to give you what you want without having to you know pay the money or, or fight them obviously I've got a lot of the combat ones unlocked um, ballistics um, here we go so ballistic weapons do 10 percent more damage so that's kind of bullets um here we go we've got um rank one of uh, melee attacks because the sword's really good uh, lasers you can see laser guns pistols i haven't unlocked uh, shotguns yet oh have i no sorry i haven't unlocked. oh it's available i haven't unlocked it yet um, but I will be doing as soon as we as soon as I can, uh, mainly because the the combat in um, Starfield is excellent. The gunplay is really really good. Also, I've unlocked uh, Demolitions One because the idea is that you now see a trajectory arc. It's not that good though to the trajectory arc. It's not always dead clear where your grenade's going to end up. But explosions do have a 25% larger radius, so even if you're not quite sure where they're going to end up, they're probably going to hurt some enemies. Uh, astrodynamics so I could increase grab jump range by 15% probably not that necessary to be honest going down the um, medicine route mainly because I tend to like the combat and getting getting stuck in and the fact that my med packs trauma packs will restore 10% additional health and work faster is good for me so I'm going to work down that um, bit as well now surveying your scanner is incredibly important and actually surveying the planet is lots of fun and very relaxing and very different from the other parts of the game so the fact that you can scan resources and um, minerals and animals at a bigger distance and have a zoom I think is really cool and uh, I've enjoyed using that as well so that's what I've done and finally the tech tree boost pack training you have to have boost, boost pack training to start off with so that you can use the boost pack um, and uh, target control systems this is important if you think you want to be in situations where you want to disable ships and then board them and take them over and steal the ships. Um, it's also a fun addition to um, ship combat. So I would recommend you have a, have a play around with that one. Um, and ones I'm working towards are within... Ooh, I've, gone, I've gone past it. Yeah, within science, my next one will be weapon engineering, so I can start to craft improved weapon mods at the weapon workbench. Okay, now, the final thing you may want to look at as well, to make this very interesting, is look down at the final um, perks that you can get. And some of these are incredibly powerful indeed. So, you may well think, actually, although you haven't put many points into the social um, skill tree, you may look at these and think, oh, I quite like the idea of being able to control alien animals or, um, or being able to uh, ex exert my influence over people in a, in a different way. But obviously, to get down here, you need to have spent points up here as well. So, have a look at these ultimate perks that you get. 
and then maybe you'll decide that, you know you can do without some of the other perks so that you can get to these areas much much quicker anyway hopefully i've given you something to think about hopefully this video has been useful if it has been hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon